Hello everyone, this is Harsha. Welcome to my channel Crypto English. So hi guys, you can see in my screen today's video is going to be another node setup video and it is going to be all about Shadium Network. So in this video, we will talk about Shadium Network and recently they announced about a beta net where community members can run the node. So in this video, we will talk about everything, how you can uh, buy the VPS, how you can set up the node uh, starting from A to Z. So uh, even you can try this in your mobile phones as well. So everything will be covered in this video. Watch this video till then before starting the video. If you are here for the first time, subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, click the like button. If you have any doubts or clarification, leave them in the comment section below. And this video like that is 200 likes. So definitely click the like button right away. So let's begin the video guys. So first thing, uh, if you are not aware of Shadim network, I already made a video about this particular network and how you can use their testnet. So now they have announced a beta net uh, a day back on 3rd February. So in this, you community members can set up the node. So why do you want to set up the node? So if you remember my Aptos node setup video, whoever has uh, set up the Aptos node and registered for the testnet, they have received a huge airdrop of $2,500. So we are expecting same thing from this. But as of now, there is no confirmed rewards from Shadium network team for running this node on the beta net. But I'll tell you some interesting things which will uh, help you to understand whether there could be a future airdrop or any kind of reward. So first thing, uh, under the benefit section, if you see the announcement part, so they, they have clearly mentioned that rewards for running a node will be determined as we move further into the beta net. So this is the first thing. So definitely they are going to plan some kind of rewards to the beta net uh, node setup users. And along with that, if you see the tokenomics of Shadium network, there are two interesting allocations. You can see this is the SHM token allocation. Here you can see a portion of 5% of total token is allocated to ecosystem and for the aid drop. So, it's the official website here, so they itself confirming that there will be a drop and that could be maybe if you are already testing Shadim network, you might be a part of it. But in my point of view, whoever is testing the node or running those nodes might have a higher chances of getting this a drop. So that is that is one thing. And over that, if you see here, 51 percent is allocated to the node mining. So this could be for the uh, mainnet node mining. So once the mainnet is launched, they need to allocate some tokens for the mainnet mining. But I would feel some portion of this a drop allocation will be given to the users on the token generation event. Whoever has set up the nodes in the early stage. So that's why we are trying to run and set up this node. So there is no confirmed reward as of now. I'm repeating, but we, if you are ready to spend around twelve dollars, you can try this setup. So now I'll show you the complete step by step guide how you can start with. So let's begin. So first thing to run the node, you need a VPS, and the requirement for VPS are clear. You can see here it's a quad core processor and it should have a eight GB RAM. So best pricing for this configuration I found in this VPS service provider, which is PQ hosting link will be in the description below. You can use my referral link and you can buy the VPS from them. So because it's very cheap here. So four core processor and 8 GB RAM only cost you $14.27 over that. We have a special community voucher for us. So now uh, what you can do is first thing you have to click the link in the description below. My referral link is there. If you want to support, you can use my referral link and register into PQ hosting. And then in the left side, once you register and log in, you will see a virtual uh, private server under product X and service and then click on order. And then you can select any of the uh, uh, center and then you scroll down a bit and you need to find this four core processor 8 GB RAM, which is 14.27 euros. So just click on order. And under operating system, you just select Ubuntu 22.04 and then you can click on add to cart. So once you do that in the next screen, you will see $14.27. But there is a special coupon for our community members, which will give you 15% discount right away. So just enter the pro promo code as crypto Telugu and just click on use promo code. This code will be in the description below. Once you click that, you can see there is a straight away 15% discount on your purchase of VPS and it will be costing you only $12.13 right now. Then just click on pay. And once you click on pay, there is multiple options. So the major reason of selecting PQ hosting is they also support crypto based payments. So you can buy this or make the payment using your TRC 20 USDT. Also, you can just select crypto option and click on pay and the next screen will show you the uh, uh, token option and then you can make the payment. So I already have some funds in this particular wallet. So that's why I'll select the account balance and click on pay. So once you click on pay, your VPS purchase will be completed. So now we have successfully ordered our VPS to set up our Shadium node. So just click on VPS section and here you can see activation in progress. And after five minutes, if you refresh the page, you can see this node is uh, my VPS is ready. 
so i can just double click now i'll get one ip address and password these two are two important things to set up my or login or access my vps so for accessing this just copy the ip address open the putty software so you should install this putty software to access this vps so link for the putty software will be in the description below just open putty software enter the host name as your ip and click on open then click on allow and now you can log in here with the root and root will be the user id by default and password will be what you have created just now uh, what uh, you can see in your pq hosting now just copy that uh, uh, password and in putty software to paste you have to click on your mouse right click on your mouse and password section even if you type or paste it won't be visible just click on right do a right click on your mouse and enter in your keyboard then you will be able to see you have successfully logged in so in case if you don't have a pc and if you want to try the same steps in your mobile application there is a software called uh, termius so this is similar to the same putty software which we are using desktop but it is a mobile based version so this link will be in the description below you can install this in your mobile by the vps and follow the same step what you are doing in putty software you can do the same thing in this uh, termius mobile app also so now let's continue the step so now the major portion is completed so we have purchased the vps and we have logged into the vps so now we have to install the shadium btnet node into our vps so these are the nine commands so i have uh, gone through this uh, installation document and i have complete uh, shortlisted some important commands which you can use and run it directly so these are the nine commands this commands will be in the description below you just need to copy paste these commands one by one so let's start with the first command so just copy the command and right click in the putty software click on enter and it will take some 5 to 10 minutes time for the first command so just wait for it to complete in between if it ask you to enter something or select some option just enter one and continue so you can see here it is asking six options you can just select one and enter now first option is first command is successfully completed then just copy the second command repeat the same again here paste it and enter so this will be completed quickly and then copy the third command right click copy it and paste it on the putty software and this will be done again copy the fourth command just copy this fourth command and again paste it on the putty software just enter and then it will ask you to yes or no just type y and enter y in your keyboard and enter in your keyboard and it will take some time and then once that is done, completed docker will be installed so again it is asking one or two whenever it is giving you options to select just click one and enter and then next step is just select the docker version so fifth command just copy it and paste it and see if the docker has installed successfully so you can see if it is showing any version here 20.1 which means it is installed successfully so let's copy the sixth command also completely copy it from starting to end paste it in putty and enter then that is done and copy the seventh command again uh, sixth we have completed so copy the seventh command uh, paste it in putty and enter that is done copy the eighth command and paste it in putty enter that is also done now final command is a ninth one so just copy this command entirely now we are doing the actual installation of the node it will ask you few details you have to key in those details just paste it and enter so first thing it will ask you is yes or no just type y in your keyboard and enter in your keyboard so just type y and enter then it will ask you to set a dashboard password so this is very important guys so what your password you are giving here it will be used to access your dashboard where you will be adding your metamask wallet so this is very important step so type the password whatever you are typing it will not be visible in this software because it is a password so you type it straight away and click on enter so once you click on enter it will ask the next thing so uh, i am typing the password right now you cannot see that then it will ask the enter the port uh, you can just type uh, you can just click enter on your keyboard it will take the default settings and again it will ask you to enter other directory details again enter don't type anything just enter and done so now it will start installation of the shadium network into your vps it will take another 5 to 10 minutes of your time based on your vps capacity and once that is done your vps will be ready and live so that's all this is a major part and after this i have few more things you have to do to link your wallet i'll show that steps also so now you can see my uh, node of uh, shadium network beta net is successfully installed so there are three more commands uh, these are not mandatory but it is available in the uh, instruction document that's why i'm following that so just copy paste one by one command here just copy uh, the 10th command paste 
then uh, 11th command copy paste and then 12th command copy and paste so now once this is done you are good to go and now i will go to the dashboard page so to access the dashboard of your vps so you have to go to this uh, open uh, four step so you have the local host link address you just copy that i'll put it in the description below so this is a url to access your uh, uh, dashboard but local host you cannot type in the browser because we are using a vps so what instead of local host we have to type our ip address vps go to your uh, pq hosting copy your ip address and paste replace it with the local host and then uh, you just copy the entire link and then go to the browser and paste it and click on advanced option click on proceed so now you can access your shadium validator dashboard so you can see it asking for the password so just enter the password and click on connect this is the password what you have entered during the installation of the shadium node so just click on enter once that is done your shadium dashboard will be loaded this it will take two to three minutes to load this icons so now you can see it is in the stopped status so just now i've installed so it will be in the stop status you have to wait for five to ten minutes to uh, come into the standby status so now you can under performance you can see the uh, ram and other uh, cpu usage and under maintenance you have multiple things to do so now first thing is here you can see the start node button which means it is not at uh, synchronized so after 5 to 10 minutes if you refresh you can see the stop node if it is shown as stop node which means your node is running successfully now next thing is you have to stake some tokens into your validator so that you will get some uh, activity so before connecting the wallet you have to connect your uh, beta net network into your metamask to do that link will be in the description below come to this page click to connect option you just click and it will ask you to add the uh, new shadium beta net network to your metamask just click on approve and then click on switch to network so once you click on switch network it will be changed into shadium beta net and then now you click on connect wallet select metamask and uh, approve the metamask transaction and you can see now my wallet is connected so next step is you have to get some beta net testnet token so this faucet is not working right now so what you can do is you copy your wallet address go to the discard community the the project discard link will be in the description below and in the discard left side you can see this faucet 1 uh, 1.0 option under uh, beta net just select that type forward slash faucet and enter your address and click on enter so once you do that after 5 to 10 minutes you will be receiving around 15 uh, shm tokens into your wallet so now you click on stake button in the dashboard under maintenance and under stake wallet you can see your wallet address which you connected with the metamask and here a nominee public key will be the address which is taken from your validator node directly so now your validator and your metamask wallet is getting linked here so now stake amount enter 10 shm tokens that is a minimum just click on stake and approve the metamask transaction and your tokens will be staked into your validator node and that is a final step here so we have successfully staked our tokens and successfully running our wallet uh, running our node so now you can see your staked address will be matching with your metamask address this is very important guys because in case if project want to give you any rewards or airdrop in future they might do it to this specific address what you just linked it with your validator so save it uh, or give a proper address here so now my 10 tokens are staked if you want i can remove the stake or i can go to overview and i can see my earnings also so these are the testnet tokens they don't have any value but maybe based on that they might give you some reward in the mainnet launch so that's all guys that's about today's video about shadium network how you can run the node and with the step by step guide so if this video was helpful do subscribe to this channel if you like the video click the like button if you have any doubts or clarification leave them in the comment below so that's all guys thanks for watching jai hind